So you just got a new Subaru, or maybe you've had a Subaru for many years now, but you've never really known how to work this key fob, or at least not know all the ins and outs and how this key fob communicates with your car. Today, I'm gonna uncover all the details and share everything that you need to know about this Subaru key fob, how it works with your car, and show you guys some cool tips and tricks. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics just like this one. So if you want to learn all there is to know about your car, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And if you guys have questions, as always, leave those down below. And lastly, if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, all I ask is that you click the like button down below. That helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. Let's start first with some of the basics on your key fob. So the top is the top button is your lock button. The star cluster logo is your unlock button. This is the unlock for your hatch and it is also the operation of your power lift gate. You have the ability to do that with your key fob. The bottom one is your alarm button. And then on the back, you have the ability to use the switchblade key that will gain access to the driver door when your key fob battery is dead. So the lock, one click, you'll see the lights light up, that locks the car. If you click that three times, you'll also hear your horn. So if you're not near your car, it's far in a parking lot and you can't remember if you locked it, if you click that three times, you should be able to hear it even if you can't see those lights flash. Then single click on the star cluster logo that will unlock your driver door by default if you want to unlock all of your doors including your passenger doors just click that a few times that'll unlock your passenger doors as well and then this unlocks the hatch and also if we click and hold it it will open the power lift gate if your subaru is equipped with the power lift gate that's not a standard feature so if yours does not have the power lift gate, it won't have that. And then to close it, you can click and hold, and that will also close your rear lift gate. And then lastly, we've got that alarm button. So if you click it once, it turns on. And if you click it again, it turns it right back off. So don't panic, just click that button one more time and it'll turn off. Now the main benefit to having this style key fob is that it makes locking and unlocking your doors and starting and stopping your car much easier. You don't even have to get this key out. It just has to be on you nearby. So it can be in your pocket or in your purse. You don't have to go digging for it. So we're gonna put it in our pocket here. When I pull on the door handle, it automatically unlocks for me. And then to lock the doors, you'll see grooves on your Subaru's door handle. Mine are on the top. Sometimes you'll see them on the side. There's even some on the bottom. A lot of people don't know about that, but that locks your door just by tapping your finger there. Now to start your car, you don't even have to get your key out. You just reach on the door handle, automatically unlocks. And then you put your foot on the brake. Instead of having to take your key out and click it into an ignition, you put your foot on the brake and you press that push button start. It starts up just like that. And then whenever you've reached your destination, make sure you're in park. You don't have to take a key out or anything like that. You just tap this button and it turns it right back off. I oftentimes get asked, what do I do if my key fob battery dies or for whatever reason, this is not communicating with the car. And that is where the key shank in the back comes in handy. So to get the key shank out, you just flip this over, put your fingernail on that little silver button, use a loop and pull it out just like that. Then you can gain access by putting that key in the keyhole right here. Now, before I open this, it's going to set the alarm off. So in order to get the alarm to go off, you're going to have to start the car. And you might be wondering, okay, well, how do I start the car if the battery is dead? I'm gonna show you that right now. So we're gonna open the door, the alarm's gonna go off. We're gonna hop inside. We're gonna put the key fob up to the push button start, and it will still allow us to start this even with the dead battery. So just like that. there we go got it started and the alarm went off these batteries should last you a few years but if you're in a situation where your battery has died or you think it has died just take the key shank out then take a flathead screwdriver you're going to wedge it in right here you're going to be really gentle with this because this is plastic you don't want to break it so i usually wedge it like that and then take my fingers and use it the rest of the way sometimes this will come out so sometimes it'll fall out like that you just put it back in place 
And this is, the, the battery by the way, is CR2032. If you're curious, you can pick these up pretty much anywhere, as well as at your Subaru retailer. Those are gonna be readily available. Once you switch that out, then you just pop that plastic backing on and put your key shank back in place, just like that. And there you go, there's no programming involved. Your key will be ready to go and active on your car. If you ever accidentally drop your key inside your car somewhere, and you don't realize it, you go to lock your doors, you're going to hear a loud beep and the car is going to remind you to remove the key before exiting. So it's pretty smart. It won't let you lock your key inside your car. But what if you're in a situation where you do wanna lock your key in your car? Maybe you're going hiking, kayaking, riding mountain bikes, surfing, you name it, whatever event you're planning to do. You don't wanna take this key along with you because maybe it's bulky. You don't want it to get wet. You don't want it to get damaged. Before I show you how to lock your key inside your car, there's three things you should know or three ways you should know about gaining access to your car. Again, one is with that key shank that we've already talked about. So you can lock the key fob inside the car and take that key shank with you. That's a lot less bulky. The second way I talk about it quite a bit on my channel is with the secret pin code access. So there's a button back here. You can set up a pin code, a five digit pin code to gain access to your Subaru to unlock it when you return without having any key present. And then lastly, you can use the My Subaru app. So the mobile app on your phone to lock and unlock the car and to gain access to it when you return. Now with the My Subaru app, you do either have to have cell phone service or Wi-Fi. So if you're going somewhere remote, definitely don't rely on that My Subaru app because you might not be able to get back in. If you guys want all the details on how to set up that secret pin code access, on your car click on the youtube card above to the right that'll tell you all you need to know about it be sure to practice that pin code before you actually lock your key inside your car or i don't know maybe have your spare key handy so that way you don't lock yourself out in order to lock your key fob inside your car you're going to want to put the key in sleep mode and it's very simple to do you're going to click and hold on your lock button up here at the top and simultaneously double click on the unlock button that star cluster logo so here's how you do it we're going to click and hold double click and now my key fob is in sleep mode it's kind of hard to see because of the sunlight right now but you'll also see the red light indicator flash a few times telling you that it is no longer active and if you try to use it on the door it's not going to lock or unlock for you with this key and because I don't want to lock my key inside the car I don't have a spare with me today I'm actually going to take this key shank out so this is how I do it if you're testing this out that way I can still gain access back to the car if I can't get in it so now we'll see the key is now locked. I can use this to get back in as a safety measure, but I do have the My Subaru app on my phone. So I'm gonna use that right now to actually unlock it. Here is what my My Subaru app looks like. I'm going to select that I wanna unlock the car, select the driver door only, and then with my face ID set up, it's going to automatically unlock the car. There you have it. Now the doors are unlocked. I can grab my key. And to wake your key back up once it's been in sleep mode, you click any button and it'll be reactive again. Just as simple as that. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys learned something new about your Subaru key fob today. If you enjoyed today's video, please click that like button down below. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Comment below with any questions you have. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.